Hello everyone. So once again at last night's board meeting, we started off recognizing several of our successful groups of students. We've had so much success this year in Frisco ISD and I just wanted to read off a number of those groups that we recognized last night for their successes. We recognized our FISD military graduates, our superintendent student advisory council, the incubator and accelerator students and all the awards they've won, our Citizens B qualifiers, our Frisco High girls and Lone Star boys soccer teams for their successes at the state tournament, state tennis medalists, and our student, our uh, district advisory council. We had a lot of uh, recognition last night. It was a good night. In addition to our recognition, we received a presentation about the Texas A through F accountability system. Um, district leaders received and shared anticipated changes on the coming rating system, specifically regarding to college, career, and military readiness. Um, they also explained and updated the criteria and the scoring guidelines that we would adhere to. The Texas Education Agency is still finalizing the guidelines so that information provided is subject to change. We also heard a legislative update last night. There are uh, three weeks left in the legislative session down in Austin, and there's still a lot of work to be done. There are about 1,300 education-related bills that have been filed this session. Some of the major bills being discussed relate to school safety, teacher retention, library books, instructional materials, and school choice. School finance is a big topic of discussion this session, as it usually is. And as of now, the state has proposed $7.4 billion in new education funding, which is about half of what schools need across the state to make up for the inflation that we've seen since 2019. The decisions made at the state level in the next few weeks will ultimately affect FISD's budget and compensation plan for our staff moving forward into the next school year, and the board will vote later in June uh, once more certainty from the legislature is had. And lastly, we heard from our emergency management team regarding intruder detection audits. The audit visits by the Texas School Safety Center began in August following a June 2022 directive of Governor Abbott. They have a specific purpose of assessing the ability for intruders or, in this case, a state inspector to gain entry to schools through exterior entry points. The recent by the state to implement these audits is complementary to comprehensive safety and security audit processes our district has been using for several years now. With the support of a third party independent auditor and also local police officials, and we are proud to say that Frisco ISD has excelled in both efforts. <coughs> And one last thing with regard to school safety and student safety. What you say matters. Parents, I would ask you to sit down with your children and have a serious discussion about threats made towards schools. It's very important that students understand that even if they're joking and alluding to a threat, it can get them in serious trouble. They can be arrested, they can be fined, and other serious consequences can come from that. It's very important that we communicate this with our students and that people understand that school safety is a serious issue and police departments and school officials take these things very seriously. Please have that discussion.